painting with cotton pods, cotton swabs, whatever you call those little fluffy woolly things. Uh, we will test and try this technique and trick to create a beautiful lavender field picture. Uh, even though I'm not a painter, you're not a painter probably, I promise you, you can actually paint and create something very, very nice. We have done painting with toilet roll and we created, I call them dandelions, but I know that they call differently in English. <laughs> and we've done galaxy effect painting, which you truly very much enjoyed. So I hope that this technique today, uh, well known by everyone, used in kids art many times and very um, brought back to life recently, this technique with cotton buds uh, will actually be equally enjoyable for you. So let's start, let's create some picture, let's paint. I'm starting off by adding some masking tape to my watercolor paper to create some lovely looking frame and also to make sure that my paper will hold here nicely and not gonna move too much. Uh, I will actually mix two things. I'm gonna mix acrylics with watercolors. Background will be watercolors and then our lavenders are gonna be made with acrylics. To start off I will actually water my background, water my page. Um, to do so you need Hmm, I'm not a specialist, but you need a bit of water, not too much, not too little. You have to wet your page kind of enough to make the color movement happening. That's how I see it. I am playing and experimenting recently with watercolors. As you know, if you follow my Instagram, uh, you could see that easily uh, and I really really love that what a joy to actually make it I'm watering my uh, paints uh, it's a trick that I have seen somewhere and I think it's a fabulous trick I love that now the fact that the um, our um, as you can see our um, page is wet we have a lovely movement on our gorgeous sky on our gorgeous uh, background and I love that effect maybe I will use some other blue which I have here delicate I love that I love watercolors recently you have to try that for yourself if you have never tried it I promise you you will love it Okay, and the galaxy effect, I have done that. If you're interested in this video, it will be linked um, under the video or at the end of this video, so you can have a look yourself. Really, really nice. Now, I'm doing some sort of kind of cloudy looking sky. Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter that much. Now, next step is to do some green background for our lavender field, right? That's what we need to do. So, nothing complicated. I'm showing you that it's really easy, achievable. If you never painted, if you are just learning, like me, I'm not a specialist, but I <laughs> believe that everyone can do lovely things once they try and they experiment and they just are willing to learn. That's what I think now. I'm loving that very much. Where is my other green? Do we have some other nice green? There's another green that could be nice. I purchased quite a lot of watercolors uh, in, in one moment and I was purchasing them without even <laughs> painting it. But now I'm glad I did because I have a choice of colors. Yet I do go back to cheaper ones as well. So uh, it's not only that I'm interested in the craft proper paints or art grade paints. No, I I love I enjoy all sorts of paints. So now let's let's dry that quickly. Uh, before you dry, you can pick up a bit of color with your dry cloth, dry paper towel, which is nice and interesting effect of a sky kind of. Uh, cloudish looking then I think it's really really nice same for our green grass my page is 
dry but not fully dry so my next step will be to kind of start playing around and add those kind of lines of lavenders this is where our flowers are gonna be and the fact that my page is still a little bit wet it helps to kind of as you can see spread the color nicely so I promise you this is probably by far one of the easiest technique ever and for someone who doesn't watercolor like I don't I'm only learning <laughs> I can guarantee you that it will work same as uh, the galaxy you've shared your galaxy galaxy paintings with me and I was like oh my I cannot believe that people who actually have never ever painted they are just sharing stunning sensational art so I'm really proud and I'm always happy see your, seeing your projects and um, that tells me that yeah Marta you're doing pretty good since people are enjoying your your videos and they encouraged enough to try themselves so that's really fabulous now this is nicely sp this nicely spreads which I like because we have the effect of kind of not very equal lines maybe some other color I have other green here maybe we can add some sort of like the leafy thing as you can see I'm I'm not really painting I'm dabbing gently my brush here and there you know you don't have to be very precise here even less just relax your hand just add some lines here and there and wait and see what will happen and enjoy the process um to be very honest pip since when do I paint? Maybe two, three months, maybe less. And <laughs> I actually cannot believe how much joy that is, how much I love in it, you know. So yes, as you can see, we have a gorgeous sky, we have a gorgeous field here. Now time to dry this, guys, and go to our swabs and do the lavender. My page is flat now. I have put some heavy book on it uh, for just a few minutes. I don't think, it, maybe it's the problem because I don't use the most expensive uh, paper, watercolor paper. I simply use just an average watercolor paper. Maybe this is the reason why uh, my paper moves and curls but you know what I just put the heavy book and it works and it's fine it was like two minutes only now I'm using paper artsy water um, acrylic paints I really really like those uh, but please feel free to use any acrylic uh, or watercolor paints you have and try them out now it's a big test right uh, well before that I'm thinking to add a little uh, smaller lines for our, if I find my brush, I do, for our um, lavender, just a little touches of kind of, just little lines to make this much more delicate. I think it would be just nice. So I'm picking a very small brush, <clears throat> very small, teeny, 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 teeny brush uh, to kind of uh, I love that this is very much uh, watery and it's sprinkled around and that gives us a gorgeous background you know that things are kind of blending nicely as I told you a hundred times today I'm not a watercolor artist I'm not a painter but this is exactly what I'm showing you this because I believe that if I will show you that me just simple Marta who has no knowledge about this product yet well I'm experimenting but if I can do certain things I believe that this hopefully will give you a proof well proof yeah I've said that last time that this will give you a push and you will think okay since she can do it I can try it as well yes I'm sure you have paints at home I'm pretty sure and if you don't have acrylics just use watercolors if you don't have watercolors use just acrylics it works fine it was only my kind of suggestion and idea how I did it but please it's not 
you oftentimes ask me, can I use this? If I have never tested, I cannot tell you for sure that yes, it will or won't work. But I always tell you, please try it. <laughs> please try it. Don't be afraid. Just try. And the worst what can happen is the effect is not going to be there. That's one worse. Number two worse, we lose some product. Number three worse is we are going to waste our time. But if you look at it the way as I look always, experiments are just important and they're not a waste of time at all. So, you know, the best is to try it yourself, guys, and just, of course, feel free to ask me always. I'm always happy to answer and all, but sometimes I don't know the answer. This is when I'm telling you, kind of, please work away, experiment, and let me know how did it go. Okay, I think we can have this for start. It looks like branches of the uh, Christmas trees, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I cleaned that. Now, next step is, I think my purple isn't really purple purple, isn't it? What about this purple purple? I have another one. Yeah, that's very bright as well. They're all very bright. Okay, we mix those two. Sure, we can we can try that. I'm taking a few swabs, maybe five, five or five. And yeah, that's how I'm holding them. Mm -hmm. And what I will do, I am mixing those two colors. I hope you can see that in the camera. I'm mixing those two colors to kind of, oh, and I'm actually going to make them in kind of like this, no, opposite. I'm going to swap that to, oh, like this. It's not that very much important, but it would be nice to kind of have the top part as one piece rather than two, because top part, kind of the top should be slightly smaller than the bottom part, so if that makes sense what I'm saying. <laughs> You could certainly put some rubber elastic around it. I don't own it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. So I'm just using my I'm just using my fingers and that's fine. That's that's probably the element of unexpected surprising effect like here. <laughs> Come on, don't move guys. Do me a favor. Oh, I think this will work now. I think I have a nice <laughs> nice shape right now uh-huh uh, so yes yeah, sometimes you know I love mistakes I think they're so much fun and we learn so much with them and I would love you to see it not stress over them and just look if it happens it ha can you see how simple fast and really basic that is and the effect is quite nice. I'm, I'm in love with it, because for really and also um, I didn't do yet any painting with a reference photo or something. Maybe I should. I haven't done any. Plenty of people do it. I don't. Maybe this is something I should look at uh, because, yeah, because probably <laughs> the painting would be nicer since the reference photo is a help. For many uh, but I don't know I kind of somehow I'm gonna use two now make it maybe it will be easier to kind of just go gently around there uh, some people just use that but I tend to kind of I don't know not look in my look from my head and from how I remember that let's say how lavender should look like but that's how I work Feel free to look in some reference photo if you have any, if you feel like doing it. So, yeah, if you want to see how real lavender looks. This is not realistic looking lavender, obviously. This is our <laughs> cotton buds lavender. But you know what? I think it's equally pretty. It's not prettier, actually. Yeah, because it's our. And also, the technique is so fun that your kids would so much appreciate that, I'm pretty sure. I'm not I'm very sure so try that with your kids and now I'm adding a little here and there kind of so to kind of give it the idea 
that there's something behind it, some sort of lavenders are everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm only gently touching with not too much paint right now. So that's kind of the idea here. So you don't have to be precise. Relax, relax. I think we kind of done here, but it would be nice to highlight a little, 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 little bit. Just the tiny touches of white I think would make such a nice um, look to it. A very delicate white. I'm gonna take a clean swab actually. Yes, a clean one. Now, yes. See, sometimes white is bringing this up to you and it just gives this depth and a movement and a touches of something pretty. So white is nice, white is your friend. White is your best friend sometimes. It just makes it so much. You could actually probably mix straight away the white with the beautiful purple, but I love the way it's it's right now. I hope you can see how simple that is, achievable, and really step out your comfort zone. If you're just a card maker, not just, please don't forgive me for saying that, but if you think you're just a card maker, that's, that's all you do, please, don't, no, step out of your comfort zone, grab your paint, I'm 100% sure you have paint at home, your kids, your grandchildren, someone has paint at home, and, tr and, and them, you probably do have them at home, and try to do it, and you'd be surprised how easy, fun and how also um do you know when we achieve things it's just such a nice feeling you know and it's a nice for you to feel that you actually achieved something so yes this is very easy very simple achievable and i think it's super pretty so that's it let me just put the paint the my masking tape away and I'll be right back to you. I'm back with our picture, mix of acrylic and watercolors and in the meantime guys I have done a smaller version of our lavender painting and you could use it on a card like I did, handmade card, hand painted card. I added some title, True Beauty and I think it's a fabulous idea to paint for your if you card maker if you art journaler you can do basic paintings and you can really enjoy them and just just do something different doing things different stepping out of our comfort zone makes a huge difference to our creative life i feel and i find it like this for me uh, you know i'm looking at this sky and i i kind of like this dark effect there it looks nearly like some mountain on the back or something or hurricane is coming <laughs> anyway thanks so much for joining me today it was a pleasure as always to chat to you I'm looking forward to the next video already I have a huge massive list and once again I will ask you to share this video with your friends if you found it funny inspirational interesting cute I don't know whatever you think about this uh, short clip I hope you had fun and good time and I hope you've learned something because that that would be probably the most important part right thank you so much for your time as always and I will chat to you uh, very very soon bye <laughs> bye bye